In this video, we are going to create Windows 11 System Restore Point. We will do the very simple steps. Let's proceed. Click on Search, type Restore Point, click on Create a Restore Point. Notice that both device protection are off. You can undo system changes by reverting your computer to a previous restore point. You can create a restore point for specific drive. We will choose drive C which is the operating system. Click on configure. By enabling system protection, you can undo undesired changes by reverting your computer to a previous point of time. Choose turn on system protection. Now you can adjust the maximum disk space used for system protection. The older restore points will be deleted to make a room for new ones. You can drag it to adjust the disk space. You will also have the option to delete all restore point for this drive. Before we apply, you can see the system restore is grayed out or not yet available. Now, click on apply. Notice that the system restore is now available. You can see that the local drive C protection status is now on. Now, let's create a restore point. Create a restore point right now for the drives that have system protection turned on which in my case is the drive C. Click on create. Type a description to help you identify the restore point. I will enter restore point and add the month and date for my reference. Click on create. It will now create a restore point. This will only takes a while. The restore point created successfully. Next process is if in case you want to restore the created restore point. Go to search, type restore, click on create a restore point. Click System Restore. Click Next. You can choose the restore point you want to apply. We only have one option which we just created. Click on it. You will have the option to scan for affected programs. Click on it to scan and view if you have affected programs. Scanning affected programs and drivers. You can see it's non detected. Click Close. Now, click on Next. Confirm your restore point, your computer will be restored to the state it was in before the event in the description field below. You can see the details, the time, the description which we configured. The drive to be restored. If you have changed your Windows password recently, or after creating a restore point, you will use the old password before the restoration process. Click finish and it will proceed with the restoration. Your computer will restart automatically. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you like this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials, thank you and see you in the next video.